right, y'all? So we're going to be checking out AP Bryn versus Blacklist, man. So it's getting started. It's about to be interesting. Let's see how this goes, man. Game number one between two legendary organizations. The calm before the storm. Early mm. game priorities, Leo. What do we expect? I'm expecting that uh, this Grok pick by AP Bren will make Blacklist International consider oh. using oh. their early resources. Again, a flicker for a flicker, but Oakwood still walks away. Yeah, Renar basically called it. That's exactly what you got to do the moment you hit that level two. Yep. And yeah, they're making it a possible case for punishment. Yeah, great call there by Blacklist International. Uh, to tell Edward to be be proactive from the lane early on. By the way, focus on few. The goaded idol of the whoa, world. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait a second. They doing damage Almost early, gonna bro. Almost going down there. But five days, 10 hours, and 41 minutes is the total game time of few in MPLP season one. He's five a season days? oneer. I mean, you counted the total hours. The total hours, yeah. That's okay, right. Yes. Okay, so that's two flickers off the board for AP Bren. One from Blacks International, and they already have but what a twenty? Uh, to, sorry, two hundred, three hundred gold lead. Look at other items, folks. Please uh, do not mind that. Uh, I'm pretty sure we will have to uh, jog the system to get the actual items. But something yeah. to note about emblems. Check out Tinsui rocking that concussive blast. Something oh. tells me he wants to expedite lane clears and camp clears yeah. so they can be part of fights sooner. That means Blacklist definitely going to want to play it closer to the chest here. You can see Flap TZ, US close by, oh he's there fine. Goodness. Forces the flicker out of Flap TZ, but he goes for the re-engage. Says oh Zoe, my God. has a 1v1 as well of Cal TZ. There he goes, the Eternal Guard. And those guards just going to have to find their own ways back to their masters, going back to the turtle. Neither team suffering a death. Yue Haji There's a lot of Sui in the middle of this turtle fight. Yeah, looking really good here. Obviously secured by Blacklist International. What a master class for clashes. Well, Rockhart, earlier you mentioned for AP Bren, Flap TZ and the EXP lane just doing really well. Right now, again, we are reminded of the change to Paquito and how strong he is in the early game. Great for junglers, even better if you're landing your abilities with their EXP laner, uh, with against the opposing EXP laner. And Blacklist International are really putting pressure as well onto Flap TZ's lane. And that's the right thing to yeah. do, I think. Given AP Bren's lineup, besides Ogwin and maybe Kyle TZ, not many of them will actually have any actual impact up until the mid game. Looking at Super Marco, you want items on that carry. Looking at Flap, you can sustain, but there's really no source of damage or follow through unless it's a big fight. So AP Bren's waiting for that, for the right response, for the right timing. And really loving this Yua pick. You can see why they pick it up on last. Yep. Great answer with either Wild Charge, Eternal Guard. He can do basically anything here. And maybe a final slash. You never know what's going to come out of the Yue. Got to watch out for that for AB Bren. Yeah. Right now, Hogan forced to go back out. Easy trying to be aggressive. Uh oh. Easy will definitely be able to dance out this one. Yeah. Wild oh. Charge on the Yue. Here are the items real quick. That's Oheb up on Marco's gold by about 200, 300. And that's a huge chunk of uh, the uh, gold lead actually standing on both teams. But look at that, Marco actually barely on forward. The old oh. catch is <laughs> Ogwin. Good damage from Sensui, but there you go. That's the that's what you get. Obviously, it's still a tank, Guinevere, when it comes down to it. Yeah. That's exactly what happens. You can't do it with a 1v1 yet. You see here the struggle uh, for the Arlot. And the slight struggle for AP Bren, although they have a good amount of control uh, for them right now, seems like Blacklist are timing their abilities a little bit better. Maximizing them, I bet I think would be the better word, because they're controlling the tempo that AP Bren usually likes to set. Yep, and it's because of space. It's the fact that their lineup is just more mobile, it's just more agile, and at this point in the game, it's the re-engages that matter. It's not exactly the actual secures. Not like this, see? You're not gonna get the skill, and it's so hard to confirm the skill unless you waste your ults, your resources. Whoa. And that's where Blacklist wins, his little inches. Oh, and oh. we're trying to go for the temp check here, Bang. but we'll be trapped in with uh -oh. the huge barrier here. But Blacklist members getting quite low. Cal TZ as well might force him to back off. Oh, good flap TZ. Will they pull the trigger? You uh, see oh. someone taking Cal TZ with nice retribution. Retry. Getting that turtle. Blacklist on the back here. Oh, uh, the game uh -oh. of ages continue! And there you go. First blood. So we just not in the position to contest. There goes first blood for AP Brand. Okay. So they're still going to be They're going to get more. Non-stop uh, action here. Haji! Another Calling one. as well. Flap TZ gets the first two kills of the game. That's why they was this, on Flap TZ like that. This is what you talked like about that. here, Leo. The rope a dope, that little re-engage. 
that AP Brand love to do and do so well. That's right, and they understood that Blacklist can do it very well with this roster, with this lineup, but AP Brand played it to a point wherein after that turtle, they used the advantage that was taken from the turtle kill. Damage on Kyle TZ, extra shields on everyone, and again, a game of inches, nay, millimeters that allow for AP Brand to add up these little advantages into eventually yeah. two kills and a major objective. Oh, I now, they had it. Relatively big lead when it comes to engagement in space. Yeah. Yep. Speaking of engagement, US seems to want to see if he can get some damage off of Kyle Teasy, but Haji is actually not going to be able to close it up. Oh. Neil and Fury not in range yet. Maybe Bren, they are walking defense here, and they oh, catch they Owen. Owen might be in trouble here. Wall oh. charges out Whoa. of the way, and you were not going to have the abilities to close the gap. Woo. Master Ogren able to get out of that. Now, an interesting thing that happened actually right before that was in the middle lane. You can see the health of that middle tower for Blacklist International. Oh, boy. Low. On a rotational choice by Few and Kyle TZ after getting that win in the orange side of the jungle of Blacklist International, went to the mid, and now Blacklist will have to worry because if, when that tower falls and AP Bren are in control, then AP Bren are going to start playing that AP Bren game of smothering you in the mid. It's a major artery, and... Honestly, it was paid for by Ogwin. Ogwin was willing to die for that push, yeah. but he didn't. That's what it is. Yeah, Caltesian since okay. we just facing off against each other. Your flicker used by Edward. That Paquito might have some trouble re-engaging, especially reaching Super Marco here at the back, who is working on this turtle right now. They're not even going to contest. Caltesian secures once more, and I think Blacklist understand that we can't let that first turtle take happen again. And Caltesian uh, pushing the advantage. Yeah, just keeping at it. Making sure that Blacklist don't have much room to breathe here on the bottom side of the map. Oheb just not quite ready to take the fight just yet. Uh, so, what started off as a rough time in the EXP lane for Flap, TZ, and AP Bren eventually turned into, uh, well, even there. It's a good But tower. definitely the major artery of the game in the mid lane broken by AP Bren. That's one of their main comforts. And Oheb is also struggling in the gold lane up against Super Marco that just got broken down. And so, this is now the AP Bren timer of that mid game power spike. Uh, for calling back here, the sa one of the safest carry gamers in the world. In season 10 in his debut season, only di didn't die? That's right. No, no, or no. Or died he, once. He had a six or seven game win streak. Se seven game win streak right on the carry. Right before carry was actually fully on meta. Yeah. It was Super Marco was pushing the propaganda and it actually happened. And now with that said, he, he, may, be, he may be up on Oheb, maybe just 300, 400 gold. Because again, Oheb hasn't died. But just the same, the map is not looking good for Blacklist. Yeah, it doesn't feel like he's touchable at all here. Even Edward gonna have a hard time reaching Super Marco right now. All right, so now the question is for Blacklist International. How do you come back from this? Are you really just dependent on that power spike of the Claude? Is there something that you can do to punish AP Bren? One <laughs> thing you can say is definitely wait for Oheb to get his Trinity and then try to go deep into the back line, take down few, find the window where Marco can die. Uh, but well, the priorities, number one, get some farm wow. on Oheb. And I don't know if this Blacklist International has the anti-disaster protocol in them. It's in the programming, it's in the code, but they need to consider that too. Because Sinsui, I think Sinsui is not eating very well. Yeah, he, he's struggling. He just got a purple buff taken from under his nose oh. here. Lord, gonna come up. Rockheart. It's not that far in gold, so Blacklist can contest, but should they? That's a big question, isn't it? Even if Sensui gets in, the damage is quite negligible and everyone just can get out. Even with the capture here. So, yeah, nice I guess pokes. that's a big question. Blacklist is Oheb ready. Will Sensui go straight for you or something? Because Super Marco is just an unanswered answer right now. Oh. oh. This is a dance if I've ever seen one, gentlemen. Yeah, the closest we got to an old school Lord dance, a little bit more new gen version of it. A quick reset. Yeah, faster pace. Yeah. yeah, there you go. You actually see the two teams managing the minion waves in mid and bottom first before they prioritize and trying to jockey for position. Edward's on top since we getting into position maybe to get into a good Violet Requiem, but then again can be easily punished here by Super Marco. Ooh, second soft reset of this Lord Dance. Elapsed maybe 30, 40 seconds in now, and they maintain the HP. It's still there, half health. The Lord Dance of old. Still waiting for who's going to pull the trigger. The 
Not exactly position. Here comes AP Bread. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's a beautiful wall here, making sure that no one can actually answer, except maybe for a good Violet Requiem. And we're seeing it right now, but the effect is just not being felt here. Edward from the back. Oh, oh, he's still the that's a retribution. Oh, it goes down. The, the collapse is beautiful here for Blacklist. Mm -hmm. Very right expensive here. Lord. A three for oh, two. Oh, oh boy, and one more. The boot maybe if Flap TZ can make it, but Super Marco make sure there's damage. The boot oh. all have close by as well, but no ultimate means it's a no go. All right, that was it's worth. messy, it's scrappy, but I'd say both teams walked away with an exchange that they're willing to walk away. This is what you call a negotiation. Oh. When neither party is happy, but they walk away with what they got. They got something. Oh, they got all right. something. Something to note about that fight, right? The only reason why it ended in a trade like that is because Oheb came in from all the way top, put stacks on his uh, Art of Thievery first, yep. and then engaged. And then after you saw Lord go down to the 8 or 9k mark, that's the point of no return. And that was just the perfect timing for them to come in and then punish. Get the first two kills on AP Bren, trade for Blacklist, eventually another kill for AP Bren, and then Blacklist gets one, and then the Lord got taken from there. Flap Teasy just missed the final slash. AP Bren did get the Lord. Blacklist minimized their losses, but they are going to be dropping towers as AP Bren continues to push forward. Kiana pick up Spew with the Divine Glimpse. The Sui with the entry goes back. Up. Uh, they're seeing it. maybe they can make some more happen here, but no. Missing out on some crucial jumps here. Edward also trying to get a backline access going. But just it's just no go if you're going for Super Marco. Step by step, AP Brand are taking what's free on the map. They did not force the issue for bottom. All three hitter, towers. So they took mid tier two. Orange buff. They won that trade two, for sure. And then with that, Blacklist are now cornered off inside their own base. It'll be lucky if maybe Edward or Oeb can actually find farm elsewhere, but that'll be very, very difficult. Like see here now. Agent Zero, he has to consider going home. He can't split push like this. I think AP Red is on his chase. Oh, yeah. Running back. You see there, because of the presence of Agent Zero and some key team fights, that's where the heart of their counter punish, their counter collapse will come from. The entry of Edward and the Paquito. And two things that Sasu and Haji have been doing really well is actually my maximizing their control, which is why AP Brand can't get that picture perfect team fight that we're known for them to have. Even though we see the positioning that is classic AP Brand, the dominant performance in a team fight, it's getting controlled really well by Blacklist International. If you're AP Brand, you're just looking at, you know what? Leo's right. They're going to have a lot of team fight access here from the back with Edward. But if you are AP Brand, you're also thinking, you know what? Keep an eye on Edward. We should be good. So Our front is pretty much covered. Yeah, something else to know, I think they have to keep tabs on Edward's flicker timer. Yep. Again, now it's clear for us to see 40 seconds in, but that's not going to be enough time for until the Lord spawns in about 20. So there will be a, what, 10, 15 second window wherein AP Bren is free of yes. any threat from Agent Zero. So I wonder if they're playing that well now, especially since they're setting up the long lane here in bottom. Yeah, not just to avoid his threat, but also to find a way to punish him for not having a flicker up. But he's going to the opposite side of the map. I don't think AP Bren will find that opening. They get first positioning. In the Lord, oh, have got the orange buff there. Waves look super good right now, and looks like it is a go for AP Bren. Super Marco up front, wow. and a huge entrance here for Flap oh TZ. My God. Nice request, for, nice answer here for Requiem, okay. but Edward is also going to be put up very, very low. Robin changing takes a face full of light wheels. Now Lord on the fifth of his health. Oh, he's getting ready to go in maybe, but a wild charge from Owen stops him out. Uh -oh. Yoi goes down as well, but Elward takes out few. It's a reset on the Lord, but look at him. Kaltini, Super Marco, they're taking him out. They are wrecking oh. havoc on the blacklist for online. Yep. What looked like a huge fight for Free the Lord. Lord turned into just, you know what? Let's just fight. <laughs> a good turn by both teams. A good decision oh, this is there. End the game. We'll win that Lord out, and now they're going to be marching towards top. Deja vu. It was just but weeks ago that Blacklist had to face the Turkish Fireflox Esports, and it was in a very same oh moment. Oh, my God! Turn! Oh! oh! Marco is crazy, <laughs> bro. Now, that's just the firepower talking. That's just about the 4K, 5K gold lead that AP Brand has. That's that's Ma Marco Maniac right there. Marco's that wasn't a, a Maniac, but you know how he can play. That it felt like a Maniac. Felt, felt like, like a Maniac. maniac. That's what matters. Fun fact about Super Marco, most kills in MPL Philippines season 12. 128, also the highest kills per game and GPM and gold per game. Super Marco showing why he is one of the best, if not the best gold laner in the world right now. He's on his way to most kills now. Again, he's credited for about half of all of AP Brent's kills at this point. And again, was it not 
this same carry that wasn't doing anything much past a six or seven minute mark True. of this game. Yeah, he was true. very quiet. He needed that mid-game power spike, and now they're playing off of inevitability. Look at the item builds. Uh, am I, is that right? Is Sinsui building hybrid? Seems so. I think they are feeling that big lack of some damage, maybe, yes. into oh. what we can only expect when the Violet Requiem comes in. They're just not getting what they want. Now they are going to have to face the brunt of the AP Brent's front line. Taking them towers here down. Here comes AP Bren. Looking to seal game one right here. But Kalti's against Kots. And so we go back. Very happy in. And so we with the back here. Lord is on top. Waves are getting cleared up. But will it be enough? Haji Adi goes in. Oh, Fury. What? And it's only going to be a few people coming up here. And AP oh, Bren ready to go for you once more. AP Bren have to defend the front line. And the Bang. back line against Edward. And he's going to go. <laughs> and that just might be it. Since yeah. we will not have the firepower to stop this, it's 1-0. That was a dope game. Really, really dope game. Yo, it's starting off nicely. Starting off nicely. So the other ones, we're going to upload the others on the channel very, very soon, y'all. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe. I can't wait to get into it. Peace out.